Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin, did something really, really awesome with his partial veto power for a recent budget that was made by a majority uh, Republican legislature in the state of Wisconsin. He's a Democratic governor, and he came up with a really interesting, unique way to help students in the state of Wisconsin by uh, very strategically altering the budget that was given to him, again, with his partial veto power um, by the Republican-led legislature. I want to show this to you. The individual story is interesting, and then also get to the larger conversation about how I wish these types of actions would be more common from Democrats in state governments and the federal government. This is being reported on by the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Tony Evers uh, uses veto powers to extend annual increases for public schools for the next four centuries. Four centuries. Extra funding to schools. So how do you do this? Governor Tony Evers, a former public school educator, used his broad partial veto authority this week to sign into law a new state budget that increases funding for public schools for the next four centuries. The surprise move will ensure district state impose limits on how much revenue they are allowed to raise uh, will be increased by $325 per student each year until 2425 creating a permanent annual stream for new revenue. Um, and to change this, you would have to have uh, a future legislature act proactively to go in and change it, right? Unless this gets knocked down in the court. And this is the largest increase in the history of the state for this type of funding. And so specifically, you can see from this bill, he vetoed out with his partial veto power, the words the and then uh, the number 24 school year and the 20, this is confusing for our podcast listeners, I'm sure, but essentially by taking out select words, you were able to make it read instead of for the limit for the 2023 to 2024 school year and the 2024, 2025 school year, instead it just reads for the limit for uh, 2023 through 24, 25 and uh, sees that increase be implemented, which is so genius, so great and will benefit students again, if it's not knocked down in the courts. Um, here was him signing this budget. So he's signing it right now for our podcast listeners and they're here clapping. There we go. And so whenever there is a majority in the state legislature, the governor is pretty limited, but here, um, when they have this power is a way that real changes can be made and he also um as this this article goes on to write the veto was one of more than four dozen the democratic governor made to reshape the 99 billion dollar two-year state budget republicans passed last week among the vetoes was the majority of the centerpiece of republicans lawmakers budget plan a 3.5 billion dollar tax cut that focused relief for the state's wealthiest residents of course republicans what are they up to in the state of wisconsin as is often the case federally and in state legislatures across the country, trying to cut taxes for the wealthy. And Evers knocked that down, which is good to see. Um, and so then we've talked about in the past the fact that Republicans right now, across the board, but especially in state legislatures and uh, governors as well, in red states will be super super aggressive in trying to get through bad actions um damaging actions politically advantageous but demonization of certain communities type actions and their motivation is so strong to do those things that they'll break with norms they'll violate institutional guidelines just to get through these things um that the republican base is happy about that often is so damaging to constituents across the board often even republican constituents um and we've talked about this a lot in regard to L uh, lgbtq people being targeted and the aggression and energy behind the movement to target lgbtq people it's pretty stunning and disturbing and then on the other side sometimes you see the democratic party with far superior policy positions but less motivation to get them done and i don't go as far as some on the left to say 
trash the institutions, throw them in the garbage can like Republicans are doing, but just in favor of the Democratic Party. No, I think we can work within uh, effectively while sometimes breaking norms, but within the system without throwing it all in the garbage to improve it and to improve the lives of people and defeat the GOP. But it will take pushing the envelope within the system. Um, and that's what Tony Evers is doing here, pushing the envelope, coming up with unique, intelligent ways to benefit the lives um, in kind of headlining, uh, headline grabbing ways as well of the residents of Wisconsin. And I want state governments that are Democratic led, that are Democratic majorities or Democratic governors to think of every way that they can do that be just as motivated and energetic as Republicans, but to do the good things, the correct things, while not going as far or stooping as low as they do. And again, kind of uh, trashing our democratic institutions being one example, um, very notably. And so credit to Tony Evers, Evers there, hopefully we'll see more of this type of energy from the Democratic Party to make that contrast clear, the difference between the GOP, what they get done, and the Democratic Party, and of course, to benefit the lives of people.